two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, grab a crucifix. Seven, eight, gonna stay up late. Nine, ten, never sleep again. <laughs> That's stuck in my head now. Anyways, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Saturday Night Horror. I promise I will not sing the rest of this episode. So tonight we are continuing. I am zoomed out. We're continuing our marathon of the Nightmare on Elm Street series. We've watched part one. Last week we watched part two. And tonight we watched part three, The Dream Warriors. I don't remember anything about this. I don't remember a single thing about this. So, um, I'm looking forward to it. I've had a lot of fun watching these movies over again because, as I've said before, it's been so long since I've seen any of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. So, I'm really enjoying going back and watching them again. So, tonight will be Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 Dream Warriors. Uh, dinner is going to be something real simple. We're just going to make some wild mics. I'm drawing blank when it, uh, I'm just drawing blanks when it comes to cooking on Saturday nights. So uh, for the, right now we're just gonna do some frozen pizza. Um, eventually, maybe, possibly, Baby Bella will allow me to sit in her recliner in front of the Jason Takes Manhattan poster, so we can do this right. But until then, we're out here in the front room. So yeah. Uh, without further ado, let's get this episode started. Let's go out to the kitchen. Let's get dinner done. Let's go out to the kitchen. Let's go out to the kitchen. Let's go out to the kitchen and have ourselves a snack. We made our dinner tonight. We got a stash of Wild Mike's frozen pizza. The Saturday night special. <laughs> so we got that. And we're gonna get our drink while we're in here. But first, the mandatory Jurassic Park movie poster shot. And I forgot to turn the camera light on. Awesome. All right, well. <laughs> Screw that up. All right. So let me get this in the house. I'll be back. All right, let's get our movie. Let's see if Bella comes running out when I open this tray. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you heard it, huh? <laughs> hey, pretty girl. Hi, baby Bella. You want to watch a movie with me? You gonna watch a movie with me, pretty girl? All right, watch your head. Where'd it go, Bella? Where'd it go? 
Hello, <laughs> my Bella. Let's go ahead and turn this light off. All right, so our Nightmare on Elm Street marathon continues. We do not have any surround sound this week. <laughs> So we're going to start part three here. Maybe. Possibly. Alright, Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Dream Warriors. I don't remember a single thing from this. Is that Lawrence Fishburne? Holy crap. Alright then, I really don't remember anything from this. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, hour 36 minutes. Sleep, those little slices of death. How I loathe them. Alright, so go ahead and watch this movie. I will be back when it's done, y'all. everyone the movie is over so yeah Lawrence Fishburne but as Larry Fishburne um, Nancy came back Nancy from part one was in this uh, man so yeah part three um, Nancy from part one is a psychiatrist and she just happens to start working at this psychiatric facility that has a bunch of kids who are being uh, tormented by Freddy in their nightmares. And one of these kids named Kristen has the ability to bring other people into her dreams, which ends up being really cool in this movie. Let me pause this before I get a copyright claim. So yeah, one of the special features on the disc was the Dream Warriors music video. And I, I don't want to get a copyright claim because, you know, YouTube's going to YouTube. Hey, Bella. So yeah, Kristen has the ability to bring other people in her dreams. And it's a big theme through the movie because she brings all these kids into her dream to fight Freddy. And each one of these kids, once they go into the dream world, has a dream power. Where uh, they have like these special abilities and powers that they use to try to fight against Freddy. It works out for some. Unfortunately, it does not work out for everybody. Now, I've noticed in this one, Freddy has started to show glimpses of turning into comedian Freddy with the corny one-liners. Um, it wasn't too bad in this one. He was still, you know, serious and vicious. Bella is hyper. She's running all over the place. He was serious and vicious with just a little, like, the, the beginnings of being a comedian, so it wasn't too bad. Um, I have to be honest. Of the first three we've watched so far, this one is by far my favorite that I've seen so far. This was just, it was just really cool the way they had her bring all the kids into her dream and they all had these dream abilities to fight Freddy. I thought it was really cool. And uh, we get a glimpse at Freddy's mom. She don't find out she's his mom till the end. <clears throat> I really like this one, man. I like how they brought back Nancy from part one, and uh, I don't want to spoil it for you, so I won't say what goes on, but I thought it was cool, man. It's like someone has experienced Freddy before is telling these kids about it, guiding them, helping them to fight back, and um, it was awesome. Now, I'm not one of those people who craps on CGI, <clears throat> complains about CGI, like everyone in the world does now because apparently that's a cool thing to do I have no problem with CGI but I will say watching this practical effects were awesome and uh, I wish more horror movies and movies in general but especially horror would use practical effects more um, the practical effects in this one were awesome and there was a there was a scene in a uh, 
a junkyard or a scrapyard where the skeleton of Freddy Krueger was fighting some people. And I want to say they used stop motion for that, but that was a really that was really cool. Um, I, I, I'm a practical effects guy. For some, they, a lot of these practical effects were awesome. We had Freddy was a giant snake trying to swallow Kristen. Then there was a scene where Freddy uh, he turned into a like a string puppet or a marionette, I guess you would call it, and actually turned one of the kids into a string puppet marionette. Bella, what are you doing? That cat is hyper. So yeah, he sliced the kid's arms and legs open, and his veins and tendons were the strings, and Freddy was up above walking him like a puppet, and made him jump off a building and kill himself. And like, the effects of that, like the way it looked, was awesome, but totally gross and disgusting at the same time. I'm like, oh my god, that just looks, oh god, it looks brutal. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I like I said this has been the, my favorite one that I've seen so far I really 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 enjoyed this one and I cannot wait to watch part four hopefully uh, Freddie doesn't go full-blown comedian in part four I don't remember but man this one this one was really really good I really enjoyed this one uh, the kills were, some of them were brutal, and we had one that was absolutely hilarious. I don't want to ruin anything for you, but you know what, screw it. If you're watching this, you can, you most likely seen it already. So the brutal one was, uh, he grabbed a girl and uh, slammed her head through the TV. That was brutal to me. Of course, we had the ones where he was using the guy's veins and tendons as strings to walk him like a puppet. That's, oh, God. That made me hurt. <laughs> then we had a funny one where his, the claws on his gloves turned into uh, syringes, and I guess he gave this girl an overdose of drugs. <clears throat> so yeah, this one was great, man. I really, like I said, I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, I'm really looking forward to part four next week. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this week's episode of Saturday Night Horror. A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, The Dream Warriors. Awesome movie. Um, it, it was so good. I'm about to watch this music video, too. <laughs> but, yeah, it was an awesome night. I didn't eat too much pizza. I had three slices, and I was full, so that's good. Uh, usually, I can eat the whole thing, which is not good. So, I had three slices. I was done. That's awesome. Got plenty of leftovers for tomorrow, maybe Monday. Um... Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to part four. So with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Uh, I definitely had fun, man. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. So y'all have a good weekend. Have a good week. Y'all take care.